Kevin, if you were making a post-apocalyptic dragon-filled thriller, who would be your dream actor to play the tough, heroic dragon slayer? Ooh, uh, Russell Crowe, I suppose. Yeah, it's a good choice, but uh, aim just a little lower. Okay, uh, that British guy, Clive Owen, good actor. Oh, he is good, but uh, you're going to have to set your sights a little lower. Okay, how about uh, Jackie Mason? Mm, lower. Mario Lopez? Uh... Kathy Griffin? Ah, lower. A mule deer? Lower. Gary mule deer? Lower. A turtle? Lower. Okay, a small cigar box filled with old rusty washers? Lower. Oh, oh, I know, Matthew McConaughey. You got it, Perfect, exactly. perfect. Ah, yes, the world's most shirtless man. Shirtlessier than Patrick Swayze, do you think? Oh, comparable levels of shirt-free living, I'd say. Okay, I'll give you that one. Okay. I fell into a burning rain of fire. McConaughey peeled off his shirt and the flames got higher. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's Picard! I think it's Picard. Oh, no. <laughs> Good, Matthew. Come on screen and immediately squeeze one off in your pants. <laughs> Only one thing worse than a dragon. Joy Behar? Americans. He's not American. He lives in L.A. You stunk in failure to launch! Oh, boy. Get ready for big, hammy helpings of Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Anything happens, you know what to do. Uh, no, I have no idea. If it involves hurting Matthew McConaughey, I'm for it. Get a shot of my chiseled arms. Oh, Matthew McConaughey here at my doorstep. Oh, I must look an absolute fright. I haven't taken a shower since, well, uh, ever. You got any chicks in there that want to scale Mount McConaughey? That's a big tank. Tank must be British slang for idiot. Don't be a fool. Like I was by doing Sahara. Get out the first one I kill. So you're really going with that character, huh? Why are we whispering? It's etched in American history because the outlaw Dalton boys were killed there. Ordinary townsfolk rose up and took them down. Uh, can I get you a lozenge of some sort? Okay, I declare a brand new drinking game where every time Matthew McConaughey appears on screen and you fail to hold in your mocking laughter, you have to take a drink. So, like all good drinking games, it's designed to get you plastered? That's right, exactly. <laughs> I think that's the red carrying all of McConaughey's hair product and tanning creams. No, no, I, I, I think they're just choppering in Lance Armstrong so that Matthew has someone to work out with and pull the local chicks at night. Gentlemen, begin flexing. Whoopee. This is Alexander Jensen, U.S. Cavalry. Or cavalry, as oh, most humans call it. Excuse me. This vest is just weighing me down. Men, get ready to rock and roll. And I got a scene to chew. Copy that. Oh, you can try to copy that, but no one can be as husky and sexy as Matthew McConaughey. I look 20 yards south by southwest. I'll stand here looking like an ad in Vanity Fair. I left my new ports in the trailer. McConaughey's here. Can the good weed be far behind? Damn, Matthew McBuzzkill. Out of skull wax, too. It's not burning, it's burnt. It's toasted, it's baked. Oh, wait, that's me. This is for the ladies. That is the 11 ladies who ever saw this movie. <laughs> that's what we need. We need people who can overact. To London. Maybe catch a play. Go to a couple of pubs. Sit in a session of the House of Commons. Mean and gentle all, behold as may unworthiness define. A little kick of Matthew in the groin. Guess they're going to London! Done this. Nukes didn't do this. Uh, sorry, I got a little thing in my throat there. The horror. The horror, y'all. I figured out a way where you could wear a shirt without actually wearing a shirt. It would be a shirt bearing the image of your torso, actual size. The <laughs> castle. The White Castle. I need a sack of sliders fast. <sighs> Sounds like you brought a warthog with you. <laughs> oh, no, it's McConaughey. <laughs> you were right. That chick up at the Taco Bell is as fine as they come. We got one rifle, two automatics, two crossbows, and explosive heads. Count yourself among the explosive heads. You can see McConaughey's head for three miles. <laughs> Quit doing that. You look like Belushi in Animal House. 
Hmm. The axe, the cave, the beard. It's Matthew McConaughey Gimli, son of Matthew McConaughey Glowin. Here's the plan. When we get to street level, we gotta bring that bull's ass to the ground. And I'm gonna take care of that. I no, really I'm not really gonna get this. Oh, he's eating it up. He's digging my bald head and cut bod. <laughs> Life's got a funny way of turning that different, though, don't it? The homespun wit and wisdom of Garrison McConaughey. I call window seat. <sighs> he looks system of a downish. <laughs> Love his grunt. He sounds like a pug. Gonna split up. And now he sounds like Gary Busey. Or he needs to say man more. We have paid a terrible price. Yeah, so have we, pal. We rented this thing. Okay, I'm moving. You don't have to yell, please, with the bald head and the leathery. Whoa! Oh, ground is hot. Oh, do you have any gel insoles? Ow! Ooh, kind of he looks a little hippie from this angle. <laughs> Where'd he pick up all that grease? Come on, meatball! <laughs> he said, come on, meatball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Mosh pit! I'm Death Metal Man! Woohoo! <laughs> Chomping on McConaughey would be just like eating a pot brownie. Just now realized he has bits of chewed McConaughey all over him. 